Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I've just hopped on the PB space of Nasus, and the new Nasus got uh, a few buffs, and I'm just gonna show you really quickly my Nasus mechanics, how sick this is. But if you look at my Q cooldown, that doesn't seem to be very long, does it? So we've got some new buffs for Nasus, which uh, are pretty ridiculous. I haven't gone overboard with the sax today. I've only got 700 right now, which is kind of like, if you play a decently lengthy game, I think you'd get that, but uh, basically, there are two changes on the PvE for Nasus, and both of them are pretty ridiculous. The, the more ridiculous one is if you look at the last line now, the last thing of this tooltip, it says Siphoning Strikes has a 50% reduced cooldown when your ultimate is active. Your Siphoning Strikes, by the way, is this one that, you know, you stack into. That, that That's your main damage, right? And you have a 50% reduced cooldown uh, with this. So if I quickly refresh the cooldown just to show you, like, if I have this on, it's 2.2 uh, 2 .2 without it. If I press this, it now goes down to, okay, well, it's actually 1.1, but the tooltip doesn't update. Thank you very much, Rito, for that one. Uh, so it's 1.1 second cooldown on this when your ultimate is active and you have your Q on, which is crazy. But there is also another one, actually. Uh, this now reduces, look at the, the second part of this, the armor is reduced by 35% uh, instead of, it was like a flat... 20 30 40 i think instead now it's actually percentage so you're going to be removing 35 percent of a tank's armor late game which is crazy so you're basically an ultimate tank boss if you think like if some tangy champion tries to stop you split pushing you've got you're going to reduce all the armor and then you deal uh this damage which is physical damage so that deals more damage now to people and you're going to be using that every second with your ultimate on the plus remember like this guy's such a good utility tank now because you have the five percent of nearby enemies maximum health each second as magic damage so you're ticking for max percentage damage reducing their armor and spamming your q on a tank plus your ad carry and any other ad champion in the game is going to be doing more damage as well which is pretty ridiculous i think actually it's just it's one of those insane things which doesn't really make sense but i'm going to show you exactly how ridiculous this could be at the same time like it's already crazy we already have our ult and just spamming our Q over and over. If I, did I leave my cooldown thingy on? I did. Let me just take that off very quickly. Our uh, ultimate time off. Oh, we'll just kill this thing. But, um... Yeah, it's already ridiculous anyway. But if we have an Infernal Dragon... And now if I go back to the shop very quickly... This build, by the way, is pretty funny because you can actually do this on live servers as well. Uh, I, still, I have the 45% cooldown reduction because I'm running uh, 0... 1812 uh, the 5% extra like that as well. We can actually stack these uh, we'll, we'll keep this because we want the actually you know what we could sell this we could get another Sterex gauge We could get lucidity boots instead. I'm not saying you normally do this, but now uh, we have a, a fair amount I think of uh, extra stuff on this I guess so if we spawn an elder dragon and see how much we can slap this about I've taken the the cooldowns off now So it's literally just gonna be as you would be in a game Put my E down, activate my ultimate, and spam away, shall we? <laughs> what is... I'm not losing any health for a start. And my Q is doing an insane amount of damage right now. Obviously, the Sheen and the Sterex stack into the Sheen damage. My ultimate's off now, so it's going back to normal, but... Yeah, that really did not take very long to kill an Elder Dragon. And that's basically the NASA's buffs in a nutshell. I don't really know what Riot was thinking with this. I'm going to be honest. Uh, imagine like in a NASA's beating an AD carry's face going like, okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't actually mean to one shot that crap. But that kind of shows you the Sterex gauge build, which is ridiculous. Obviously, I showed you a proper legit build to start with because I don't want to make this ridiculous. I think you can actually run this with full tank and it's still crazy. But it's just one of those things where it's like, what on earth was Riot thinking when they decided to put 35% arm reduction on that plus spam Q on a one second cooldown with your ultimate on? I have no idea. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think this is going to be crazy. It's a very quick, short video because I'm going to be releasing another one later today. But I just thought it's actually honestly pretty funny. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And yeah, I'll catch you in uh, later the later video today in a few hours.